Good afternoon, everybody. It is me, Jordan Spivey, with my dad, Travis Spivey. And if you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also check us out at our website at www.fatherstarterintegrations.com. And today we'll be going over specific heat data 101. So let's do this. <laughs> So what exactly is specific heat? Specific heat is the amount of heat needed to raise the temperature of one gram of a material by one degree Celsius. The lower material specific heat, the faster its temperature rises when a given amount of heat energy is added or absorbed. Right. So for example, we have these two heating materials on top of this stove right here. So we have this iron frying pan, then we have this earthen pot, and both of them are being heated up. If you notice, the iron fryer pan has a smaller specific heat, which means it's going to heat up much faster and it's going to be easier to warm up. But if you take a look at this earthen pot, it has a greater specific heat, so it's going to heat up much slower and it's going to be harder or going to take longer for it to warm up. Now let's go over some specific heat data for some common materials. And like we said on the previous slide, the lower the specific heat, the faster it's going to heat up. And the higher the specific heat number, the slower it's going to heat up. So if we take a look at this, if you notice, as we go down this data chart, notice the number gets smaller. So lead has a specific heat of 0 0.13 joules per gram degree Celsius, which means that it is going to heat up the fastest. But as we go up this chart, notice the specific heat data number gets higher and higher. So we look at liquid water, it has a specific heat of 4.18 joules per gram degree Celsius. That means it's going to heat up the slowest according to the other specific heat data on this chart. And this makes sense right here and I'll show you how. So say if we had a pot on top of a stove, so these are my flames right here. Don't judge me because my drawing is not that perfect. So just look at the pictures. So say if we had a pot and the pot was made out of lead. But we also had some water inside the pot. And if you notice, lead has a specific heat of 0 0.13, while water has a specific heat of 4.18. So now, while we heat this pot up with this water on top of the stove, which one is going to heat up faster? This, the pot that's made out of lead or the water? Notice that the pot is actually going to heat up faster because it has a lower specific heat. The water is going to take much longer to heat up, so the pot is going to heat up faster while the water is going to heat up slower. Now let's move on to our specific key of common materials. So as you can see, this chart is nothing new, it's just like the same as the previous charts were. As we go up, the specific heat goes up. So now let's start off with our metals, let's start off with the lowest specific heat in our metal ca category, which is nickel. So as you can see, nickel has a less than sign, so it specifically is going to be less than 80 degrees. And then now let's go all the way up to our highest specific heat, which is silver. And the specific heat for silver is going to be 420. Now let's move on to our to the specific heat for our non-metals. And the lowest specific heat for our non-metals is going to be air because that specific heat of 0 0.023. Now let's move on to the highest specific heat for our non-metals, which is going to be brick. Which is why most people prefer brick houses other than wood houses because it takes um, longer for brick houses to get warm because, well, they have a high specific heat. So the specific heat for our brick is going to be 0 0.84, aka 0 0.84. Now it's time for your check for understanding. You may analyze the chart and use your knowledge of the specific heat to answer the following questions. Once again, it is me, Jordan Spivey, signing off, signing off with my dad. Travis Spivey. And if you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also check us out at our website at www.fathersoninnovations.com. Goodbye, all of my jingles.